We came across this helpful 15-page brochure. It describes each installation and provides its accurate location. We started outside the Docklands Costco with the heavy metal jam sessions. Then 39 Caravel Lane for Ned and Dan. Then we walked up Caravel Lane for Outside Inside Out. The artwork is on the Caravel Lane side of the Arkley building. For silence, we walk down Rakaia Way to the new key promenade. You can't miss this sculpture. Then we headed back up Rakaia Way and took a ride into Docklands Drive to see the columns outside and inside Kaplan. Then we return to the new key promenade for the white caps. It was a little tricky to find field of play. We went up Latrobe Street and found the sculpture tucked behind 1010 Latrobe Street. Colony was in the same area at the top of a flight of stairs. Back on Latrobe Street, we cross the street to go to the Lacrosse building, 673 Latrobe Street. This is where we found Cast 4 and new ways of thinking. Cast 4 is actually in the foyer of a building accessible only to those who live there. Thankfully, a resident let me in after I requested so I could take a photo of the sculpture. We took the stairs down to Marvel Stadium, where the threaded field was, along with edge of your seat and art wall. Mm -hmm. 
Then we went back down to the promenade for a closer look at the cow up a tree. From there, we took the Victoria Harbour promenade to walk to the courtyard of the NAB building to see Aquila. We went back out on Harbour Esplanade to walk to Aurora at the crossing of Berg Street. From Aurora, we somehow returned to Marvel Stadium via Burke Street looking for poise. It wasn't far from Gate 1. Back down on Burke Street, we first saw On the Beach on top of the Nixon Hotel. Then to the crossing of Village Street to see Civil Twilight End. and unfurling. We return to the crossing of Harbour Esplanade. Continuum and signature work are on the other side of Aurora. We crossed Harbour Esplanade in search of reed vessel. It was hidden behind trees. Then we crossed Dockland Sports Centre to take a look at the facade of 750 Collins Street and then M Pavilion right behind us. We discovered car nuggets as we were looking for IRU, the sculpture we ended up not finding. The car nuggets are outside the Kangan building in Batman's Hill Drive. We went around Harbour Esplanade to get to Docklands Park, where the blowhole is. Next, down Navigation Drive and across Web Bridge. And we're looking at the windscreen art installation. Then slipstream on the facade of 60 River Esplanade. Back on Web Bridge and down Australian Wharf, we come to the sprawling art the river runs through it. We have a hard time finding the way to Eagle. We finally access it via the 699 Collins Street building. We climb down to the nature strip and have an unobstructed view of Bunjil. Our last stop, the wave. 
We come to the tram line between McRae Street and Flinders Street and find the wave in Georgiana Street. We spent about five hours on this magnificent urban treasure hunt.